Hello Cancer, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your April, May, June 2017 Mini Money Readings. Oh my goodness, let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you in the money department. Here we go, let's cut these. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, please stop by my website at www.soulstarbliss.com. We'll get an appointment set up for you and we'll see what's going on. Here we go. Let's take a look. Wow. Oh, please remember to check your love, or your love, your moon, your rising, and your sun sign. I continue to get those wonderful comments about people who are connecting with all three, or just with a couple of them. So make sure you check both of all of those if you have time. Um, wow. It says, choices you've made for the future, you've, some of you are afraid to move forward with some of the choices that you've made. Don't, because it says that whatever homework you've done regarding money, I think your choices are going to be right on the money, and no pun intended there. But it says that you um, really to, to don't delay doing something because of fear. Start something. Start small. Start a savings. Start a you know, a retirement plan, start a vacation fund, whatever it is you were planning on doing, now is a really good time for you to do that. Almost dispense with justice, this is going to work for you. It says those of you that are in a partnership, you can both be on board and, and, and be able to uh, make your finances be very smooth rather than up and down, up and down as maybe they have been in the past. It says what you've wished for is certainly there before you for a lot of you. Maybe you're wishing that you're getting called back to work, you get a job promotion, or you can retire, whatever it is. It says regarding money, a lot of you are going to be able to put into practice those things you've asked for. It says that um, I have the Ace of Cups. When your mind is filled with spirit, fills your body to overflowing, what you think about you become. Some of you are almost feeling like you're led at this time to do something, and this is really a good thing. It says some of you have had a really tough time deciding what to do. Maybe some of you have changed jobs, or maybe you're laid off, but it says the hard work that you've put in is going to not go unnoticed. So it says it doesn't matter what's gone, it matters what's left. It says if you're having disagreements, with your partner, if those of you that are in a relationship, sit down and work those out because it's much easier to work as a team rather than against each other. It says there's going to be gaiety in the midst of change. Things are going to go up and down a little bit yet, but it says those wants, wishes, and daydreams, it's time for those. It's time to prepare for those or get ready for those. Don't let people talk you out and say it's foolish at your age to be wanting to buy a house or a car or a boat or a vacation home, whatever it is. It says you've earned it, you're working on it, and it says with your plan you'll be able to do a lot of things you didn't think you could. It says you've, um, you're three quarters of the way there for making a commitment, so learn the rest of it or put the rest into practice and take that first step, and I think you're going to be quite happy with what's going on here. It says the um, agreement that you made with a partner regarding money, it's going to pay off for you in more ways than one. It says don't be afraid at this time to make those steps forward. It says quick changes are on the way. It says those of you that have had difficulties in the past, pay attention to what it is about uh, your finances that didn't work before. It says you can't you know, live in the past, but it says you can certainly look at it and, and move forward with those thoughts and not repeating the same thing in the future. It says now is the time for you to make those choices. It says you're you're ready, willing, and able. And those of this I think pertains to everybody, not just those in partnership. It looks like the plans that you're making continue with them, and I think they'll pay off quite nicely for you. So let's see what the rest of this month has for you, Cancer. It says it says apprenticeship. It says you got this. It says you got this. It says you know what to do. It says, you know, if someone turns over a bunch of money to you, if you're waiting for a big amount of money and it shows up, you're going to know exactly what to do for do with it. But even those of you that are just have a steady flow or, you know, maybe your income is, you know, you get paid once a month, whatever it is, it says you got this. It says you know what to do now. Get busy and do it. And it's going to pay off for you in more ways than one. So let's see what it happens here for you in May. In May, it's again, oh, I got this. I, it's an aha moment. It's, um, I get it. I know how it works. But also some of you are going to feel really blessed about something. I'm not sure if that's for everybody, but it says, I see what I'm doing. I get it. And there's nothing like starting something and, and then looking ahead to see everything you put into the plan come into fruition and I think that's going to happen for quite a few of you here and that's a good thing. So let's see what it says for June. It says in June some of you may be moving, some of you may be changing jobs, some of you may be making a totally different um, way to make your income, whatever it is. 
It says it's it's going to make you happy. A lot of you are going to be very happy. Don't be, I'm not saying you're going to get laid off, but some of you may be changing jobs or um, go back to school. Maybe you're just graduating from school. You're going to be starting something that's going to um, help you make your financial plans. So with that, I want to say thank you for dropping in. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss Cancer, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.